You had a comment that you wanted to make on that question. Well, yeah. Well, I do think that physical beauty does assist you in the workplace and getting ahead. What did they say? Is it six thousand dollars a year per inch? Absolutely. Yes. Let's take a poll. There we go. All right. You know, the question is, how much time do you spend a day looking beautiful? I'm going to ask everybody on the panel how much you time. Know, half, half, an half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Well, Making yourself grooming. Yeah, grooming. Half yes. an hour. Half an hour. You got it. Oh, less than that. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. I'm yeah, it depends on the day. <laughs> when I'm, I mean, day. I'm a writer. Mm -hmm. When I'm writing, uh, right. I don't care. Of course. Right. right. You right. Know, so but when you're going out to meet the world. Right. can be 10 minutes, 15 minutes. What about you? Okay, well, this is a loaded question. Yeah. I believe that you should look good. I mean, I think you should look good all day long, mm -hmm. and especially mm -hmm. in my career, it's about meeting clients, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the whole thing. I just mm -hmm. rushing. But blessing. how much time do we spend to, to make ourselves feel beautiful? Thank you. Feel. Right. All day. Yes. No, I mean uh, feel. Feel. It's, right. It's about what you get from the inside. That's it's about, right. Absolutely. But sometimes it's you close your eyes. Right. And mm -hmm. do I feel right. good? Have right. I had enough rest? Right. Yeah. Have I had right. enough well, me time. food that's good for me? Exactly. Right. Right. Have I listened right. to something that makes me that's feel good? That's my point. It's the inner It's hard to answer because I take care yeah. of myself really well. Right. Like mm -hmm. I do eat right. I exercise. I take care of myself all day yeah. long so that yeah. I'm great. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really okay. I'm not. Oh, I want to be hungry, <laughs> but I want to be good. Feels, I, feel like I, I go to sleep. Look at dog. I, you so, I go to sleep early. I mean, you know, right. so for our viewers, then I mean, we know that we have a standard of beauty mm -hmm. in this country. What do you think that standard is, Tracy? Right. What do you think that standard is? Well, mm -hmm. I think it's changing, thankfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think at one point, you know, you looked in the media and you looked in magazines and you saw a prototype, and that prototype was thin. Caucasian, generally Barbie, blonde, Barbie, 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 beautiful Barbie, eyes. It was yeah, right. and so you know. But yeah. now I like. I'm happy to see that we're starting to see a little more diversity, mm -hmm. and yeah. and so beauty is being redefined, mm -hmm. and right. I think is being redefined more realistically and for the better. Do you think so? Because I think as as Slowly. you're talking, <laughs> as you're talking, I'm thinking about the 40s and 50s screen sirens who had one standard of beauty, but today they would not get a job. Right, because right. they were too oh, curvy. And then sure. yeah, I'm thinking of the 60s that, anyway. kind of right. model, you know, kind the of androgynous. Twiggy, right. Twiggy, right. Twiggy, Twiggy right. you know, right. the whole Biba London thing. And right. then you go to the 70s supermodel, 70s, early 80s, which were curvaceous and Amazon and right. kind of right. really strong right. women. And then you get into the waif grunge models who go right. back the to the 60s, mm -hmm. really thin. Right. And so I don't know, I think it's, Changed over time. It's more inclusive in terms of diversity and ethnicity. Absolutely, I think Absolutely. that's the point that, that you're making. That's the point that I'm making. That's the point that she's making. But from a body, type. well, from a body image standpoint, right. Right. No, I mean we have the Hallies, we have the J Lo's, mm -hmm. we have yes. so Beyonce, many Beyonce, places to go right. for Beyonce, Beyonce women. Beyonce. Mm -hmm. We're also starting to have campaigns like with Doug, mm -hmm. where right, they right. talk about you know being you, and, and right, that you right. doesn't have to be perfect. Right. Whether you it bought Doug someone. or not, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. means that there's right. something else that you're considering right. when right. you're considering how you look right. and how you feel right. about that. But when you read the comments in magazines, you know when they put put real women in mm -hmm. the magazines right. and mm -hmm. fashion spreads as well as the mm -hmm. models, a lot of the comments from readers are like, please. Put back the models. Mm -hmm. huh. you well, know, it's, it's, interesting. it's really difficult. It's, I spent yeah. 15 years as a plus size model. Mm -hmm. One of the, the early ones at the beginning of the industry. And, and at the beginning, it was this revolutionary right. idea right. that, oh my right. goodness, maybe a woman might want to see an item of clothing on somebody who looks like her. Right. 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 Um, and so it, that was a big deal at the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I still think that we're, we build on that. We, yeah. and, and you take a few steps forward mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you take some steps well, back. So so but, but, but now let's talk a little mm -hmm. bit about this whole plus size model. Mm -hmm. I was just going to go right, there. Okay. So right now we're seeing a lot of anti when it comes yeah. to weight. Right. Mm -hmm. How do mm -hmm. many, many women are plus size? Right. So what is it that they need to be thinking about as they look at some of these mm -hmm. beauty standards so that they can help have a very healthy concept mm -hmm. of themselves? You need to be thinking about yourself. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely a me time. It, it, I came into this world at two feet tall and eight and a half pounds. I was never little. Mm -hmm. And it used to make me miserable, mm -hmm. you know, because there would be all the cute little girls and I was just bigger and taller and whatever. It wasn't until I began to embrace the fact that I, that's not who I was. Mm -hmm. That's not mm -hmm. who I was ever right. going to be. Mm -hmm. I had to define what made me feel good. I had to stand up for that. And it, it is allowing our daughters to learn how to stand up for who they are. 
to appreciate the things that are positive about them, to define the things that are positive mm -hmm. about but them without letting them are really else define you. are really struggling with that. Yes, right they now. are. So what, what, what would be certain?